What's up, gang? Thought I'd tell you a little bit about something I just got my hands on recently, and I kind of like it, so I thought I'd tell you about it. Uh, I have been using the same mouse since 2005. This is the MX518. Came out the same year as Battlefield 2, and that's actually the reason why I bought this. And uh, it was kind of expensive at the time, but it was like, you know, I'm going to be using a mouse for a while, uh, but I didn't kind of expect it to be a decade that I would hold on to this. But this has been such a great mouse. I've really not seen any uh, need to upgrade. It's made by Logitech. I like Logitech products. Um, so I was out searching to see what else I might be missing out there since it's been so long since I've upgraded. And I found a lot of great reviews on this. This is the Logitech G502 Proteus spectrum and man I love this mouse let me tell you why so yeah I've been kicking myself ever since I bought this I should have got this a long time ago uh, this isn't a brand new mouse it's been out on the market for a couple of years but even if you look at like the top 10 um, mice that you can buy today even in 2017 this is still one of the top ones on the list it's got 11 programmable buttons um, so you've got three here on the side uh, you've got uh, three different profiles that you can set up, which I'll get into in just a moment. You've got the two buttons over here, which are your DPI settings as default. Uh, this is your button to change your profile. Uh, your mouse, it can go left or right. Again, you can also push down, and again, those can all be programmable. Uh, the wheel, you can make it where it's got some feedback to it, uh, or you can push the button right below it and make it where it freely spins like the Price is Right wheel. And so if you're scrolling Excel pages or long web pages, you know, you would put it into that mode. Otherwise, if you're gaming, you just put it into the other. Uh, the lights on the left-hand side, they light up, letting you know which profile you have selected. Because, again, you have three different ones uh, that you can set up for different games. And it also will change depending on which DPI setting uh, that you have set up. So it feels really good in my hand. I love that it has that little thumb lip there. Also on the bottom, the uh, the back will, will pop right off and it's got these weights in it. So I've got three weights currently because I like a heavy mouse. Uh, it actually comes with five. Uh, there's this little case that it comes with here and you can see that it's got uh, two more that I could Put in there so I'm still playing around with it but right now three feels really good uh, as far as my hand goes and this backing just pops right in super easy um, let's get into what's really nice about this mouse which is the customization uh, that you can do through the software So I think this is where the mouse really shines as far as your customizations go. Uh, so you can store all this on board the mouse itself. So if that if you go and you use a different laptop or a different computer, then all that information that you've done is already there and your mouse is ready to go. Uh, so let's look at the first page. This is where you can set up your different profiles. Again, you can have three different profiles and uh, this is just the default settings here. And you can see where this button is like your DPI up, your DPI down. Um, you can adjust your DPI from 200 all the way up to 12,000, which is outrageous. Uh, it's, it's hard to even get back to the restore default settings. Um, you can have up to five DPI settings listed on each profile. I usually put mine down to three, and that way if I'm playing like a first-person shooter, I can set one low that's for like sniping, so if I want like that real accuracy, I don't want the mouse jumping all over the place, I can put it on that. If I jump into a tank, then I can just push a button and I can go up a level where it's really high so I can move the turret pretty quickly, and then uh, put it back in the middle if I'm just on the ground, you know, running and gunning. Uh, but uh, this is super nice because you can go in here, edit the button for for each one of these profiles. You can set it up to do different functions. Uh, you can put it as a keystroke or make it do like a couple of different things like copy and paste. Or you can put up macros on the buttons. And again, you can go through here and do each one, including the scroll left and scroll right. Um, so this is a really nice feature and I, and I love this. Like I've got my Halo profile or Halo Wars 2 profile set up so I can push a button here on the side and it jumps to my bases and another button jumps to my army. So it's just a super nice feature. And again, you can have three different profiles 
set up for each one. There's also one where uh, it's got this G shift, so you can press this button uh, right here. The, this is the one I'm pressing. You can't see the mouse though, but if you press that, then all of a sudden you've got you know different options that you can use uh, the buttons for so you can set it up as kind of like a duo which probably would help out like with office work and things like that the next option you have is to adjust this uh, button over here or the the light on top of the mouse I've got it where it just scrolls through all the different colors and it kind of does this breathing effect which is kind of nice but if you want to go and tell it to stick to one particular color maybe if you've got your uh, LED lights on your computer set up and you've got one style in your room then uh, you can adjust it to that uh, I mean your mouse is or the the light is usually covered up for the most part by your hand and so it's not like you uh, see it a whole lot, but it's kind of cool if it's just sitting there and it, it looks really nice. Uh, you can also go in here and tune for your surface. So you can use the mouse on any type surface. And so if you go in here, you can um, put in what type of surface you have and it'll ask you to do this test. Actually, I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it'll ask you to do different things on your pad with your mouse and so what it's doing is it's looking for any pits or, or changes in the surface so that whenever it's done fine-tuning it it knows what type of surface it's looking at and so that way it, it makes sure that the mouse is always moving smoothly across the screen for me I've got a new mouse pad so I didn't really you know see any real difference in doing this but for some people I'm sure it'll be helpful and it's definitely a pretty cool added feature and then there's this heat map that tells you which buttons you've been using the most which I don't know why that would be helpful but I'm sure somebody will find it helpful for them uh, but overall I love this mouse and it's affordable uh, this was $20 off currently on Amazon so I bought it for 60 bucks uh, links will be down in the description box if you want to pick it up yourself but for me uh, this is great and I'll probably be using this for a long time to come it also has a braided uh, cord on it as well which should hold up which I've never really had problems with that before with any of my mice but anyway there you go so that is the review of Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum and no Logitech didn't send me this I wasn't paid to say this this is me spending my own hard-earned money and then telling you what I got for it that does it for me the Red Dragon I'll see you next time thanks for watching